prospects as a state and the prospects that your state has to offer and the possibilities that are so unique to the state. We, the federal government, recognize these vast assets that Kogi State has in natural resources, in geolocation, but above all, in human capacity. A gifted, hardworking, and entrepreneurial people with a record of producing renowned businessmen and women, and historically, a strong civil service workforce. But Kogi's history and its present pale in comparison to its incredibly promising future. Powered by the energy and optimism of its young and able workforce, led by its dynamic and forward-looking government. The two-day economic summit was organized to introduce Gogi State and its economic potential to Nigeria and the rest of the world. Nigeria's Vice President Yemi Osibajo, Governor of KB State at Tiku Bagudu, and diplomats were among the host of dignitaries who expressed satisfaction with the summit and what it is set out to achieve. Our recognition of Gogi is not misplaced. You are host to the biggest steel industry in Nigeria, the Ajaokuta Steel Company, and one of the largest cement factories in Africa, the Dangote Cement Company of Aja, and also the highly prolific Jakura Marble Factory. We have now resolved the legal issues holding down work in Ajaokuta and the Ajaokuta Steel Complex just as the only minister. We are currently reviving the 110 megawatt power plant, which will service not just the steel complex, but also uh, will, the rest of it will go into the grid to add to the electricity supply from the Giregu NIV, all of which will benefit power supply also in Kogi State. The technical audit of the Ajaokuta complex is on as we speak, and we hope that this will soon be completed to enable the conclusion of the investment process. Maximizing Ajaokuta's production capacity will unlock a key area of our economy. Steel is not only critically needed, but it's also versatile in many respects. Also, as we speak, work is going on on the Takrewari Ajaokuta Rail, and the rail route is being extended to Abuja, so that the entire mining corridor is covered by rail. Our economy is diversified. There is no local government of Nigeria that does not produce 10, 4, 5, up to 10 items. What is important is to unlock the value in those uh, opportunities and to invoke the values we have to recognize that the critical mass of participants are unable to assess long-term funding, are able to connect to its market. But thank God the policy direction from the federal government is being very supportive of fixing those two and the financial sector can have better return for their money and foreign investors that uh, take up the opportunities that have been so heavily provided by the new environment. India and Nigeria enjoy a warm, friendly and deep rooted bilateral relations. This year we are entering into the 60th year of diplomatic engagement with Nigeria. You may be aware that Nigeria is India's largest trading partner in Africa, and India is its largest trading partner. India fully supports Nigeria's economic recovery and growth plan, with predominant focus on promoting agriculture as part of building a globally competitive economy. Recent visits of Honorable Minister of Agriculture and Minister of State for Power, Works and Housing to India are steps in the right direction. The owner of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Ogun Osi, and Minister of State Development, Kayo Defayemi, advised on how to improve a mining exploration business in the state. You can set up a special purpose vehicle, although the constitution does not allow you as a state to be actively involved in mining as an explorer or an exploiter. Nothing stops you from establishing a holding company, Kogi Investment Corporation. And they have a partnership with Dangote PLC. My advice is take minority share in that partnership. Don't take majority share because you wouldn't be able to 
manage it properly. So we are advising on that. We are also providing support for the very first time Mining has benefited from the Natural Resource Development Fund, courtesy of President Buhari's government. It's never happened before, but now we have access to the 1.68% of the Federation account that goes to natural resources. We usually make this mistake again in this country. We have a lot of youths that are very, very versatile in terms of putting together and coupling a lot of ma manufacturing equipment locally made, but we will focus on how to discourage them. We will focus on how to try and pull them down. Why can't we implore government to set up a unit, a research and development unit? We have the likes of Firo there, we, like to, we have the likes of Kulkan. Let them improve on those illegal people doing refinery. Let them tap into what they are doing. We have a lot and lot of youths like that. How can we help them? How can our government encourage such people by going into their practical means of livelihood? How can we lift them up? It's very important. The future of this country is not lies, it's not going to lie on only Dangote Industries and so, so many big industries. We need our youths to be encouraged to go into solid minerals. And on this note, I want to actually implore the governor of the state for such a beautiful initiative. God will continue to bless you and God will continue to bless you in this state. Governor Yabelo highlighted and explained investment opportunities that abound in Kogi State. He also used the opportunity to sign memorandum of understanding with some investors. The state is safe for investors and for your investments in your personnel. Come and invest with us. Your Excellency, we are changing Kogi State, Toga of Civil Service State, to economically and commercially viable states. That is why we are here today. Though the sum this might be a big dream, I urge you to watch us make it happen. Of course. I acknowledge that government cannot do it alone. We are the enabler of economic growth and prosperity. But you, the private sector, are the engineers there. I am happy we are both in this for profit. I invite you to collaborate with me for mutual benefits and prosperity. Your Excellency, sir, I welcome all of you once more to this investment and economic summit as my august guests, business partners, and partners in the progress. Kogi State is open for serious business. I have my pen ready to let the signing of MOU flows. The Ohinoi of Ibira land, His Royal Majesty Ado Ibrahim, Joseph Makoju of Dankote Group, were among the panelists at the summit, which is the first since the creation of the Confluence State. Avoid Umogu. AIT News, Lokoja.